What's going on guys? It's uh, Sam here and I have a tutorial for you guys today and what we're going to be doing is taking a 3D tracked camera from After Effects and bringing it into Unreal Engine. So there's not a super direct way of doing this so we're going to have to go from After Effects into Blender and then from Blender into Unreal Engine. So you might be wondering why would I want to bring a camera from After Effects into Unreal Engine? Why not just put it into Blender? And the answer is Quixel Mega Scans. So like Blender, Unreal Engine is free to use. And what's great about Unreal Engine is that it has a direct connection with Quixel Mega Scans. And what that is, it's it's a huge asset library of photo scanned 3D elements. And these elements look incredibly realistic because they're real objects that have been photo scanned into 3D space. So you have access to thousands of these 3D assets. So if you're using CGI in your film and you're trying to build a realistic world, this is a great tool to help you to accomplish that. And you can only get free access to these assets through Unreal Engine. You can't use Blender with it. You will have to pay for the assets that you purchase, which is not a bad option if you have a budget. But I don't have a huge budget for this film that I'm currently working on called Gemini. So what I want to do is show you guys how we can use the simple and easy tracking tools in Adobe After Effects and bring that into Unreal Engine so that we can then get started building our world for this film using those Quixel Mega Scans to help us do so. So as you can see here, we have a shot from my upcoming film Gemini, and it's just a shot of our main character walking through this rubble. Now what I want to do is add a city in the background. So what we're going to have to do is because there is 3D camera movement, you can see we're pushing in here over the rubble. I'm going to have to 3D track this. So I'm going to get started here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to mask out anything that could be distracting to the camera tracker. I have my footage here and I've just drawn a mask that follows around our character throughout the shot. So you're just going to simply animate the mask path, hit M on the keyboard, and then check that stopwatch after you've drawn your shape and then you're just going to go through and do a simple mask. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You're going to set this mask to subtract and that's going to block out him from the frame. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pre-compose this. So control shift C on the keyboard and we're going to move all the attributes into this new composition. And uh, we can just call this camera track comp and we hit enter. Okay. Now we have this new composition here and we have our character masked out. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go over here to the tracker panel, hit the tracker, and we're gonna hit track camera, and that's gonna 3D track our footage for us. So this will get fired up, and I shot this on a red Komodo, so it's shot in 6K, so this is gonna take some time. Now, unfortunately, this isn't an entirely free tutorial. Uh, in order to go from After Effects to Blender, you're going to need this plugin, which is called AE to Blend, and it's $10 but it's gonna save you a load of hassle in tracking in Blender and it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money. If you're doing 3D camera tracking, I highly recommend it. So the other tool that you're gonna need for this tutorial is the Blender to Unreal exporter. And also I'll put a link in the description of this video, but it's very simple. You're just gonna download and install the add-on and you can then export your camera from Blender into Unreal Engine. Okay, so back in After Effects now, we have our camera 3D tracked and you can now see all of the points here that we have and it looks like it did a pretty nice job. So what you want to do is find a surface that looks like it, it tracked pretty well. So in our foreground, it looks like we can find a pretty good surface about right here. So we'll click on these three points and then we'll right click and hit create solid and camera. And now that's going to create a solid in 3D space as well as a 3D camera. So at this point, we can check it, render our scene, and we can see it's following very nicely to that point in 3D space. So that looks really nice. We'll go back here and select our 3D camera again. And uh, what I'm going to do is just find some points a little further away. Like these are perfect. We'll click right here. And we're going to create another solid. Okay. So the point of this is we're going to have a solid in the foreground and a solid a little further away at the edge of where we can see in our scene. So what that's going to do is give us a little bit better uh, perspective of how the scene is laid out when we go into our 3D editing software. Now what we can do is go into this comp and click this and we can turn off our mask now because we don't need it anymore. Okay. So we can go back into our camera tracking comp and 
we can watch it and you can see those solids are sticking really nicely where we want them to be so that tells me we have a good track okay so what we can do now is we can go down to our 3d camera track we'll go to our transform and then we're going to go to the first frame of this comp and we're going to click the position and orientation and we're just going to hit Control c and that's going to copy those keyframes to our clipboard now what we can do is head over to blender all right so we can jump over into blender and uh, now i'm going to quickly show you how to install this add-on so you're going to go edit and preferences and you're going to click on add-ons and you're going to click install and now you're going to navigate to your a to blend plugin folder that you've downloaded and you're going to click a to blend 28.py and you're going to hit install add-on okay and uh, so I've already done that and what you want to do quick is then um, hit cancel here I'm going to hit cancel you want to hit install and you want to search up in this box AE to blend and you want to make sure that this is checked so that's how you know it's activated and this little widget will pop up in the bottom here okay so now we've copied our um, position and orientation keyframes from After Effects. Now what we want to do is hit create camera. Okay. So now you can see way down here is our camera and uh, I'm going to hit numpad the uh, period and that'll frame it for us. So you can see it's not in the right place really. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute. But the next thing we want to do is jump back over into After Effects. And now that we're back in After Effects, what we want to do before we start exporting these solids is we want to find a point that best represents the ground plane. Uh, now this scene is a bit difficult, but that's why I'm showing it to you uh, because there's a bunch of rubble. So there's not a lot of points that are good candidates, but I found this one here that looks pretty, pretty accurate. So we're going to click that and we're going to right click and create solid. Okay, so now there's another solid in here. So we have a good reference of where we want our ground plane to be. We have a reference for the foreground and a reference for more like the mid ground in this scene, but you would want to do it for the background if uh, your scene has a background that's available. So now what we can do is we're going to grab the transform properties of this and we're going to take the position, the scale and the orientation of this object and we're going to hit control C. And then we're going to head over into Blender. Okay, so now that we're in Blender, we're going to hit Create Plane. So if we hit zero on the number pad, we'll go into our camera view. And now you can see that the plane is in the wrong spot. So we're going to go over here into our camera properties and you can see the default focal length is 50 millimeters. Now I shot this at 35 millimeters, which I know. But if you're not sure what your focal length was and you want to match it up nicely with your camera in After Effects, um, you can go into the camera settings and you can see it got 37 millimeters, which is pretty close. So we're going to go back into Blender and set this to 37.1. So we want to make sure that everything is lining up properly. So what we want to do is add our background image in. And we can go down here to background images and check that. And we'll go over here to movie clip and we'll hit open. And then I'll navigate to my movie clip and we'll click our image sequence and we'll open the clip. So I'll just go to my camera and we'll set our end frame as the last frame that we have data. And now if we go to our camera you can see everything's working nicely. And what we can do is just repeat that action for the other two solids. That'll just give us a little bit more context of what we're doing in Blender. Okay, so I've copied those other two solids into Blender and you can see everything's looking really nice here. Um, now, what we wanna do is you can see the grid is up here and it's way out of whack, so we need to fix that. And we want this camera and like this solid right here to be on the floor. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna parent everything to this ground plane. And what we're gonna do is cl uh, click this camera transform. We're gonna hit this, this plane in the background, the plane in the foreground, and then last we're gonna select the ground plane. And we're gonna hit 
control P for parent and then hit object. So now we can move all of these objects at the same time. And what we want to do is essentially move this ground plane object into the center of our scene. Okay, so now you can see we have our planes situated and they're approximately in the middle of our scene. And we'll go to our active camera view and we'll check it out and see uh, the ground plane looks to be in about the right spot. And so now we can go ahead and move on with exporting this camera into Unreal Engine. So in order to export our camera to Unreal Engine, once you install the Blender to Unreal Engine add-on, you're gonna go up here into the Blender for Unreal Engine and what we're gonna do is get out of our active camera here. We're gonna hit zero. So we're gonna go into our hierarchy here and we're gonna select our camera, okay? Now it shows up here in this little box. What we're gonna do is set it to export recursive. We can show, we see our camera one is going to be exported and we can now export for Unreal Engine 4. And then we're gonna hit import sequence. And now what we can do is head over to Unreal Engine. All right, so I've got this scene here in Unreal that I've set up and um, this is the city we're gonna use. And we're gonna hit the tilde key, bring up the enter console command. We're gonna hit control V and enter. And then it's gonna ask us to save the asset and you can call this sequence, whatever you wanna call it. So tutorial camera, okay. We'll hit save and now you can now see it moves nicely within our scene. So you, there you go, you have uh, successfully imported your camera from After Effects all the way into Unreal Engine 4. And uh, now what you can do once you export this is you can bring it back into After Effects. All right, so we're back in After Effects and uh, all I've done is imported my footage here. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of compositing here and I'll show you what uh, what we're gonna end up with now with our, with our process. So I've just put the footage on the bottom and all I've done here is just added a quick mask on this area um, and we're just gonna set the mask to add and then on this layer, um, I just copied my mask from the other comp, the, the, the basic mask, and then tightened it up a little bit, feathered it out, and then I just added this extract effect to it. If you guys want a more uh, in-depth explanation of like some compositing tricks like this, I can do that for you. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, and then I just added a couple of uh, atmosphere effects from Video Copilot. We can now turn off our, uh, our tracking solids. And I've done this all in, uh, in log format, so it looks very flat right now. You can do some nice grading to it in post, and I'll show you guys the final shot here. So there's your final shot, and uh, it's looking pretty good. And we've successfully taken our camera from After Effects to Blender into Unreal, and we're able to pull off this really nice image uh, pretty quickly and easily inside of Unreal Engine. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, uh, let me know in the comments, give a like, and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos, uh, tutorials, cinematography techniques, and things like that. Also, uh, check out my new film, Gemini. Uh, it's, it's in process right now. We've shot it, and I'm just editing, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips and tricks that I learn along the way for you guys. So uh, if you want to stay tuned to that, go ahead and uh, head over to the Instagram. If you want to support the page as well, that'd be very helpful. Uh, I really want to help you guys learn. So, you know, anything that you would find helpful, uh, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to try and help you out with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.